Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire. Today, we're going to talk to you about the Winnebago Intent. Now, the model I'm going to be looking at here today showing you is the 30R. It's got some pretty unique um, offerings in this lower price range. And you're, you know, for people that are on a on a budget and can't afford the higher end motorhomes, this still has a lot to offer. So let me take you through it and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so one of the major things you're gonna notice on this 30R is this outside kitchen. Now, what's unique about this outside kitchen is that you actually have a, you have a TV, you have the uh, refrigerator, you even have a little bottle opener, a little place to hang, hang some things, and a sink. Notice also you have a little place to pull out, pull out here, and then you have the nice drawer for storage. So this is all on the outside kitchen. Now another advantage of the um, intent is that they're incorporating some of the higher end uh, features um, in this coach. And what you have here is you have this water system here, so everything's going through this manifold, and what that does, that gives you, gives you equal pressure to every sink. You're gonna notice that there's two water pumps in here. One water pump is for this here, for this drain, so it can be pumped over to the gray tank, but this is where you'll do your winterizing. Everything is clearly spelt out right here on what all this is here. I know you look at it, you think, oh my goodness, it's a jumble mess. But notice also that you have a heat duct. It's blowing heat right into this area. So that's gonna give you extended camping uh, season. Now another thing that they do, instead of having the disconnect on the inside where it's, a, where it's a, um, a button, what they do is they have it in here and notice that it is an actual knob. Benefit of the knob, regardless of what power is on the batteries, that will go ahead and open the circuit so you can get those batteries charging again. Also notice how this is a pass-through goes all the way across to the other side. It's rotocast plastic and the benefit there is that you could, it makes it easier for you cleaning out. Have another one here and again, it's going all the way to the other side. So on the door side, what you're gonna notice is how large this awning is. And it is adjustable so that you can go ahead and uh, pull it so it goes down a little bit further. And then also notice that it has the center awning support a little cradle there and what that does the benefit to you there as you drive down the road it is not bouncing up and down it is not going to warp on you over time you're going to notice also it has the led lights in the tube the benefit there you can adjust the lighting where you want it to be so there you have it now for those of you that have pets this is ingenious they have gone ahead and made a little connection port here right next to this, this, uh, the door here, so that you can go ahead and um, contain your dog. You can hook your dog up right there, or your cat, whatever your pet is. You have a pet pig, whatever you have, you can go ahead and kind of lock them there so they're not running off into other, other campsites. Now let's talk about where it is really critical. And that is, if you're ever looking at a motorhome, Go ahead and drop the front and look inside here. And look and see what you see. Now with the Winnebago, you're looking to see what you don't see. What you don't see in here, you don't see any plywood. You don't see any of that spray foam insulation here. You're using all steel in here. It's more of a safety feature on how Winnebago does things. Notice how they have the steel directing the wind into your into the um, radiators there. So that is critical from a safety standpoint. No wood, no spray, in, uh, spray foam insulation. Now let's talk about the back of the Winnebago. You have the ladder to get up on the roof. Of course, the uh, backup camera is gonna be, be here as well, rear observation camera. But more importantly is the fact that you're Fuel fill is on the back side of the motorhome. Guess what that does for you? You're never on the wrong side of the fuel pump. 
Also now, this back last panel, that is, or opening there, that's gonna be where your generator is. So it's exhausting to the back side. Next, let me show you where you're gonna be servicing this. Okay, so right here, this is where you're gonna go ahead and be uh, connecting your sewer hose. And notice that the black tank is right there. Gray tank is right there. Makes it very, very simple. And of course, you plug in your um, electrical right there, so that, that way there you have generator. When you have the generator running, you have power to the coach. Right above here, this is where you're gonna have your water hookup, cable, and satellite hookup. You're gonna notice also that on this coach, even though it's an entry-level coach, that you're gonna have the slide toppers. Benefit there, you're not having to worry about brushing the debris off the top of your slide outs before you bring them in. So let's get on the inside and show you what this, what this looks like. So let's get inside the motorhome. So as you're going in, you're gonna notice you have a step that comes out. Unlike some of the other entry-level motorhomes, they don't have an outside step, so you got a large step to get inside. Also, as you're coming in the door, right here is your breakers and fuses. They're all marked, makes it easy for you to figure out what you've got there. Also, you're gonna notice a little night light here. Step switch, your awning switch, a couple of the light switches, GFI. Well, let's take a look as we come in here. Kind of give you a, a kind of a sneak preview. And of course the front up here. So let's start up in the front here. So the nice thing up in the front is the fact that they have MCD roller shades. So you can black it out if you wish. It's also gonna have the bed up above and I'll show you where that comes down. But so these MCD roller shades, much nicer. Like I say, they're blackout. You can adjust them. Now of course, you have all your typical switches. Now Winnebago does make this dash. You have the LCI um, leveling system in here. It's on the Ford chassis with a six-speed automatic transmission. So let me show you how this bed comes down. So in order to operate the bed, what you need to do is you have a key and the switch is here. So you're gonna have the ignition on in order for it to come down. And let's go ahead and show you how that works. So you just push the button, the bed's gonna come down, and there you go, and that's a pretty good size bed. Now there is a ladder to get up there, you know, for the more that, for the individuals that are a little more agile, you can step on the sofa, top of the seat there. But as you can see, it's a pretty good size bed and you have little cubbies on, on you know, the front and on the sides. Stereo speakers up above there and you do have an AC duct, which you can control there. So that is how the bed goes, goes down. And then it, there it is going back up. Makes it very, very simple. So now you'll also notice that the seats do turn around. You've got this table that you could put here. Makes it quite nice. You can have it even on when you're going down the road if you wanted to. Um, and gives you a place you can put some stuff. Now, then you have your sofa, and then of course your dinette. Now, I like what they've done with the dinette. They've went ahead and kind of rounded the cushions. So there, if you want to kind of slide in there and kind of lean against that, you can. And then a nice big window there with the light above it. And then of course you have the sofa with the lights above it and these nice cabinets. The nice thing with these cabinets is they're nice and deep, as you can see. So let me show you how this sofa works. Okay, so the sofa is a sofa bed, but it's a jackknife futon style bed. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna unlatch it right here. This is what unlatches it. And then you're gonna lift here and it'll just flop down to a bed. You're gonna notice behind it that you have two cup holders, which is nice either when you have it down as a bed or even when you're sitting there as a sofa, it gives you a place to put your drinks. Put it back up. Again, we're just lifting it drops in, in place. Now you do have seat belts here, as well as at the dinette. So now on the dinette, 
the next thing is it's stable because not only do you have the the foot that's going to be uh, attached there to keep it from shaking but it is also attached to the wall in the back also notice that below that uh, the cup holders there uh, you can see on the wall 110 outlet as well as 12 volt so Winnebago really does think things through there's gonna be storage up underneath the dinette booths another outlet back here good size TV of course going through your kitchen this is going to be a 110 refrigerator the benefit of a 110 refrigerator is this refrigerator is going to go ahead and work off of an inverter when you if you're driving down the road and not having the um not having the generator running that will allow that to still work and the benefit of, of, the, of that as well is the fact that you don't need 12 to 24 hours for it to cool down you see for your cooktop, three burners, nice backsplash there protecting the walls. Outlets down on the counter, benefit there for you again. You can plug in your electrical outlets, I mean your, your, your appliances, you know, your coffee maker, your toaster oven, things like that. Notice also they didn't put, because it was far enough away from the cooktop, they didn't put that metal shade. Nice high rise pull down faucet, double bowl sink, and their drawers, good size drawers, full drawer glide extensions. One thing with Winnebago as well is 70 to 80 percent of what you see on this coach is actually made by Winnebago. Benefit to you there is down the road, you're not going to, you, you have a better opportunity of getting that part made for you. You can see up here. You have your connection. This is where you'd be uh, putting your satellite up there if you needed to, so you can put it through the uh, through your uh, to your TVs. And this is how you know that they're making the stuff. You see this little sticker right there? That is telling um, Winnebago exactly what this coach has, the colors, and so forth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So. With Winnebago, 70 to 80 percent of what is on the coach is actually made by Winnebago. Benefit to you there over the long haul, if you need a part, you've got a heck of a lot better opportunity of getting that part. From a structural integrity standpoint, Winnebago does not need to put these cabinets on the walls because of the way that they're attaching the walls to the floor and the ceilings, uh, the roof mechanism to the, to the walls as well. And I'm going to show you something else. They're building their own cabinets. I, I recommend that you do not try this in your coach if you do not have a Winnebago. By the way, I'm, I'm about uh, 170 pounds. So this is their cabin. So that just shows you the structural integrity that they have even with their cabinets. You're gonna, you'll be able to feel the styles behind here. They are actually solid wood blocks. They're glued and screwed. And notice how they're held up by metal struts, making it a lot easier for you. So this is another reason why you should put intent on your shopping list. Okay, so let's talk about some additional safety features that are in the Winnebago on the inside. Unlike some of the other motorhomes on the market, this windshield, it's a one-piece windshield, it is adhered to steel just like in an automobile. So that is how they, they attach that. It is not attached to fiberglass. It is not uh, put in an H gasket. So that is superior to the others that are out there. On top of that, since it is attached to steel, you, there's a less likely of having that leak just like you have in an automobile. Now on top, so that's a, you have a steel beam going up. We call these the A-pillars, so they're on either side. It comes across, it's all the way around the windshield. And then it's also a cage kind of for this area. And what it's doing is it's coming over the top and it's coming down the back where the seat belts come in. And so these seat belts are attached to the steel as well. Whereas in most other motorhomes, those seat belts are attached to maybe a steel plate in the wall. These are actually uh, attached to steel, uh, actual steel beam. The seats up in the front here are also uh, attached to steel, and then the plywood is put over top of the seats, the ba seat base, 
uh, before the flooring is put, so the flooring can be put down. So uh, another thing that's unique with this is the way that on this dash, so you want to change, you want to have the passenger change the stereo or uh, you, you have it linked to your phone, you need to change the things, you can see how it moves so they can do that, um, which is quite unique. So let's get on to the rest of the stuff here. So heading back the hallway here, you're going to notice that you're you have the pantry right here. Nice, good, deep storage. You're going to notice that you have the uh, bathroom door there. You're going to notice you're going to have two of these vents in this coach. Nice thing with this kind of a vent, you do not have to have windows or doors open for them to operate. So you have one in the kitchen and then one back here in the bathroom area. Now you're saying, well, Paul, how do I get privacy uh, if I'm taking a shower? Well, let me show you. You're going to walk right back here in the bedroom open the door for the toilet area and you can see now you have the privacy nice thing with that you got a place to um, hang your towels and what I love about this kind of setup is you're able to put your towel on the floor you can throw your your clothes on this uh, bed here you're not confined into us into a single room or a small room you see the toilet area toilet paper holders already installed place for stuff in here electric little towel holder nice big mirror and of course nice cabinets you know you're always going to need places to put things and this gives you that ability to store things you know you want to hang you want to go ahead and hang a um, bathrobe there they even have that now looking into the bedroom what you have you have a nice full-length mirror right there as you can see next to the window you have a little countertop here with your TV. And these drawers are full extension drawer glides. Solid wood, you can see. And it's four-sided, unlike some that are three. The more important thing is, ladies and gentlemen, always look to the back of where they are they um, connecting the slides. Some motorhomes, they use plastic, not metal. Also taking a look inside your storage on when I open it, so it has a light there. And then look, you have a little cubby hole back behind here, a little, you know, you need to put some things. And then of course the table that's up in the front, you can store right there with the leg. Let me give you another look at the bedroom. 12 volt, 110 outlet on this side of the bed. You see how tall that is? where you can sit up and watch TV. On the other side, you're also going to have your 12 volt and 110. Of course, you have an actual usable window and then of course your emergency window on the back. Two AC vents back here. And then of course over here, you're going to have a USB port. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, HDMI connection. So if you want to go ahead and put uh, you know, satellite or uh, DVD or whatever, you can put that for this back TV. So let's take a look one last time from this vantage point. Oh, one thing I forgot to go over with you is in the center here, this is basically one place for you to go ahead and do things. Generator, your water heater, check your levels, your air conditioner, your heater put your slides out, put that bed down. It's all in one location, and then that's the inverter if you need that for the refrigerator. So again, this is the 30R. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was the Winnebago Intent, model number is 30R. Hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching. All the specifications as well as the pricing will be listed down below. I'll also have the uh, video for the Winnebago tour so you can take a look at that. There's a lot of things that Winnebago does different than any other motorhome company out there and it is something that you should look at. Um, be, keep one other thing in mind. Before you buy, see the Air Force guy. Thanks for watching and we'll be coming back at you again shortly. Take care.